Today I'm reviewing this Night X close-up filter. Um, as I said in a previous video, I ordered this uh, from uh, from China and uh, it finally came in the mail. And um, it says a filter uh, in the description on the internet, but it's not really a filter. It's more of a lens that you uh, that you can just put on your existing lens. And what it does is uh, it will enable you to get much closer to your um, subject or the object that you're trying to film. Um, the camera I'm using has a, a normal kit lens on it and it's at um, 18 millimeters right now. And I'll, um, I'll show you the distance at which it can focus. That's about, this is about the closest I can get with it because if I get any closer you can see that it goes out of focus so uh, and the distance is about I don't know I guess nine or ten inches something like that <clears throat> um, so to show you the difference all I have to do is get this out as you can see it's just a simple single lens um, that you have to screw onto the lens that you've got on your camera like so come on and it will enable you to get up to 10 times closer now it also as you can see has uh, one disadvantage is that you cannot focus uh, from further away anymore but that's not its intended use so now you can see we're a lot closer. Uh, this is about four inches from the camera. Let's see how close we can get now. This is about two inches from the camera lens at 18 millimeters. And uh, well, as you can see, it uh, it works very well. I could not have done this without uh, without that filter on or without that extra lens on. The uh, the image quality remains pretty good, and what it also does is it creates an insane amount of blurry background. So if you're into close-up photography, and you like to have, I'll just put my hand beside it. You like to have this insane amount of blur. Um, and this could be uh, a very good filter for you. And I paid, uh, including shipping, um, six euros for it, which is amazing. I don't, I still don't understand how they do it, but it cost me six euros. And um, so instead of buying a whole new lens, I uh, I only had to uh, to buy this little filter to achieve uh, this look. And uh, as I said, the image quality is uh, is fine. So this is uh, the close-up you can get at 18 millimeters. But what about uh, when you're zooming in? What does it do then? Well, let's find out. So I'm going from 18 to 55 millimeters. So I'll try to keep the packaging very stable. And yeah. So the distance to the lens is about the same. It's still about two. Oh, come on, focus there, buddy. So still about two millimeters. Also, I've set the camera, uh, the aperture um, to its largest size. So of course I can get more sharpness out of it if I close up the aperture. Uh, like so, so this is F16 gets a bit darker of course but you do get a bit a bit more range out of it and if I close it up further it gets too dark I guess but at let's say this is f5 well you can see I'm, I'm moving it forward and backward now it it's, it's still a very shallow depth of field but um, since it's only uh, uh, meant for um, macro or close-up photography um, that's to be expected I'll open it up further 
my lens only goes to f4 when it's completely zoomed in let's zoom out again and it goes to f2.8 looking at my uh, small screen on my uh, camera I can definitely tell that it works better at uh, wider angles so that's basically it that's there's nothing really more to tell about this uh, about this project product um, I'll be using it for some uh, close-up photography I'll put some um, some examples at the end of this uh, video um, so for you know um, six uh, six euros you can't really go wrong it's a lot cheaper than buying a special macro lens for your camera I know they've got them um, in different sizes 85 millimeters just means the thread size of my uh, particular lens but I'm sure um, they've got many different options and I'm guessing that the price won't change uh, it won't change that much or maybe not at all if you buy uh, a filter for a different lens so thank you for watching and uh, see you next time bye